Are you looking to 3D print a Death Guard army but don't know where to start? Well, I've got something to show you. Hello and welcome to Getting Handsy. Today I've got the next in our line of starter boxes. It's the Death Guard Combat Patrol. Now I've got to pause though and ask you a favor. Can you go right down below this video and select that red subscribe button? About 99% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and I would greatly appreciate it if you would. Thanks. Okay, so back to the box. We need 30 pox walkers, seven plague marines, a biologist putrefier, and a typhus, herald of the plague god. As is my normal, I scoured the web for some cool looking files. I found a number of creators that made some models I think I could use for this project, but in the end, I only chose one. Now, technically this creator has changed their names a couple of times or dropped out of a group type of thing. So the easiest way to find these files are just to look up tide hunters. So let's start with the main troops we need for our Death Guard army, the Poxwalkers. I decided to use the Drowned from the Tide Haunters. They're basically a bunch of mutated old timey divers. Now you'll need a bunch of them, 30 to be exact. There are 15 unique poses in this pack, so uh, basically I just flipped them and that gave me exactly 30. I used the pre-supported files and they turned out pretty well. Next we need our seven Plague Marines, and the Corsairs fit that role perfectly. Now this is a builder, so it comes with a bunch of different pieces so that you can put together your own minis, basically. As I've said in the past, I don't like printing in pieces, so I combined all of them in Blender. I tried to recreate the weapon combinations from the box. The kit has a, a number of options, so that was pretty easy for the most part. The guy with the anchor, I just had to kind of jerry-rig a bit, because that's not an option in the kit. Now we have the Biologus Putrefier. He's a bit odd, so I had to find something that would work for him. I ended up using this doctor, but with the helmet from this whaler. I then made a little bottle in Blender and replaced the sword. All in all, I think he turned out pretty well. I think it has a similar vibe to the original Biologus, so it should work for what I want. Last, and certainly not least, we've got our Typhus, Herald of the Plague God. There are a couple different options that might work, but I went with the Tide Lords. They had that beefy, bulky look that Typhus has. This is another builder where you get a whole bunch of different options so you can make your own. It's broken down into like these beefy melee guys, but then some regular ranged and semi melee guys. I mixed and matched until I had what I thought was my perfect typhus. I then combined him in Blender so I could just print him as one piece. He is a beast and very Bioshocky. Uh, so if you like that aesthetic, um, there you go. In the end, not too shabby if I do say so myself. They turned out really well. I think there's enough variation that you could make a lot of different color schemes that would work on these. And so I think you guys could make some pretty cool looking armies. And there you have it. The original Death Guard Combat Patrol versus my 3D printed Depth Guard Combat Patrol. What do you think? How'd they turn out? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to let me know which army you want to see next. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.